Banff National Park. Hello, today we're going to talk and discover more about Banff National Park. Banff National Park was first created in 1885. It was the first national park in Canada and the third national park in the world. The national park is at the west of Calgary, Alberta and is huge. It covers about 6,641 kilometers and has almost 4 million visitors a year. The National Park was named after two Scottish men who are Canadian Pacific Railway directors. The park has been around for about 130 years, while the mountains have been said to be millions of years old. The Banff Park has almost 3,000 campsites, and the town of Banff, which is located inside the park, has about 7,000 people living there. The town still has to follow park rules. Banff National Park has been a lovely place for campers to explore and enjoy a trip away from all the traffic and noise of the city. The park has many fun activities such as wildlife viewing, boat touring, canoeing, cycling, downhill skiing, golf, ice climbing, mountain biking, paddling, ski touring, tours and programs, backpacking, boating, mountain climbing, dog sledding, fishing, hiking, ice skating. They have a museum, photography, snowshoeing, bird watching, camping, cross country skiing, dog walking, geocaching, horseback riding, kayaking, scuba diving, and swimming. The park's animals included moose, wolves, lynx, elk, greed, gray, owl, fox, ribbons, goats, gray, j jays, fishers, and pine mitters, otters, birds, squirrel, loose, flying squirrels, fish, and many others to net. Fun fact, Banff is home to Alberta's southernmost herd of endangered woodland caribou. The Canadian government decided to preserve Banff National Park because when they found these springs alone with the beautiful snow cap place, the government also saved the park because of the many animals that live there. Ecosystems and types of land there. The montane zone is the smallest ecoregion in Banff National Park, making up 3% of the park. Subalpine ecoregion. The subalpine ecoregion is between the montane and the treeless alpine ecoregion. It is divided into upper and lower areas. The lower subalpine area covers about 27% of the park, and the upper area makes up 26% of the park. The alpine ecoregion. The alpine ecoregion covers 44% of the park. Six of the 44% is covered by alpine meadows and shrubs. The last 38% of the park is rock, snow, ice, and water. The park has about 1,600 kilometers of hiking trails, and Banff National Park has an excess of 2,468 campsites. The park is open all year round to visitors. In fact, Banff National Park has an exit of 1,000 glaciers. If you plan to go to Banff National Park, you might want to see the Cave and Basin National Historic Site, Lake Minnewaka, Banff Legacy Trail, Upper Hot Springs Pool, Vermilion Lakes, Johnson Canyon, Lake Agnes, Lake Louise, and Marine Lakes, Bow Summit and Pedro Lake, Bow Lake and Bow Glacier. How do you get there in transportation? If you're driving, we'll need to buy a power pass to go in Banff National Park. Banff National Park is the location along to Trans-Canada Highlight. Open all year. The Trans-Canada I will keep roads to make its world strong to Canada Rockies, which is where Banff is. From the airport, it is a 90 minute, 140 kilometers or 87 mile drive to Banff and Lake Louise. There are regular shuttle bus connections from the airport that you can take to the park. Facts. Uh, Banff National Park's Lake Louise was on the Canadian 20 bill. There are seven national histories. histories. It's Banff National Park. Their longest cave, same in Ca Canada, is in the n northwest corner of Banff. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned about uh, Banff.